Hello and welcome to Geo Snippets. I'm Head Hard Head. In the next few minutes, you're going to see an interesting tutorial about geocaching. This particular episode is part two that deals with paperless geocaching. Okay, so let's quickly recap part one of two of paperless geocaching. In part one, we showed you how to get pocket queries from geocaching.com. Geocaching.com is kind of the main hub of geocaching for the entire planet. It's a website. Through there, you can get something known as a pocket query. Once you get those pocket queries set up, they can be sent to you via email. We took those files from the email and put them onto the hard drive. That was the first step. The second step was to take those files off of the hard drive and unzip them into .gpx files. Those are special files which have all the different information about geocaches, usually about 500 or so, depending on how you set up your pocket query. They're also able to be read by an application on your PC called GSAC. That's the Geocaching Swiss Army Knife. Very, very powerful application, and you can get that at www.gsac.com. The third phase was to be able to double click those .gpx files which automatically loaded into GSAC. After that, we exported all that information and turned it into a .pdb file. What that does is that loads it into your ActiveSync so that all that information can now be loaded into your palm. I know this sounds like an awful lot of information and it seems really complicated until you try it a time or two, but I guarantee once you do it once or twice, you do this in a matter of minutes and it saves so much paper and you can even tell your people you're going green. So now that we're all caught up with part one, let's finish on with part two which is only a couple of steps. What we're going to do now is take that information, do the active sync, and I'll actually show you on the palm another application called CacheMate. This is a program that reads all that information and gives you it to when you go geocaching all of it's literally in the palm of your hand. Okay, so this puts you right back where we were from part one. This shows the export process sped up greatly, but it shows the export process of creating the .pdb file. And now we are going to speed this part up and get the file ready and exported so that it can now go to your active sync. There's GSAC in the background. This just shows that your waypoints.pdb file is correct and ready to go. When you click OK, it loads it up into Active Sync. As you can see here, it's in the top section, which would technically load it into memory. We're going to drop and drag it down to the bottom section so that it loads onto your SD card. That saves more memory on your Palm Pilot, which is great. This shows a close up of it. We're going to go and actually start the process. And we sped this put up for you as well. This is actually loading the .pdb file onto your palm. And then it also, of course, loads all the other files that go over into your palm as well. Once this is done, you'll be able to use the CacheMate application and all this information, all the files that were in the GSAC load that we created are now loaded onto your palm. You notice the file is now missing out of the bottom section. And now we're going to go to CacheMate and do a close-up of that and give you a little more instructions so that you can get out onto the road and do some more geocaching. Okay, so I apologize for a little bit of jumping around here as I show you what CacheMate looks like. This is the uh, best way that I could photograph my palm and video it. Uh, as you can see here on my palm, this is the CacheMate application. I click it, and uh, what you can see in here is um, basically all the files that we pulled from the pocket query, all that information that was loaded into GSAC and then put into the palm, CacheMate is now able to read this. Here is the type of caches that are available. There's literally 3,000 in this particular database. This is the waypoint for it. You can uh, search either by name or waypoint. This is the name of the geocache. I'm going to go into one right here. 
This gives all the information that you would normally have at geocaching.com. Name of it, waypoint, the different coordinates, the type, all the type of information you want right down to the hint. The nice thing about this as well is you can go in and log it and put all your information that's in here. So for example, if you want to put that you found it, time that you found it, all your notes as far as what type of things that you did with the cache, all can be stored on here for later information. This makes cache made a very powerful tool and again it's paperless. You're not printing off all your different uh, maps and all the different information and your notes and all that. All can be saved electronically on your palm. That is CacheMate. Very powerful tool. Okay, so let's quickly sum up how to do paperless geocaching. The idea is to get a pocket query from geocaching.com. Take that file, put it onto your computer, put it into an application called GSAC, take that and export it into a format that your palm can read, active sync it into your palm, and then read it right out of an application called CacheMate. That's pretty much all it is. Again, once you try it a couple of times, it should only take about 10-15 minutes from end to end. And you do this probably about once a week is good. Hope you learned a lot out of this. It's really not as complicated as you think. And now here's some things you should know. So here's a helpful tip for you next time you go out onto the trail. This is a telescopic hook. It's a pen-sized pole that telescopes out to about three feet. Very handy for when it comes to non-magnetic geocaches that you just can't reach, either in a cubby hole or down a tube. This is a very handy little device that you can put right into your pocket. Another helpful tip from the head hard hat to you. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Geo Snippets and that you learned a little bit more about paperless geocaching. We hope you also come back and see even more Geo Snippet episodes as they come out. This is Head Hard Hat saying we hope to see you out on the trail. Bye bye, folks. Well, here's another handy tool for you when you're out on the trails. This is a telescopic pen, and on the end of it has this very cool hook. Very handy for when you go out and try to find non-metallic... <laughs>